Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Bet you're surprised not seeing me sitting in the Forerunner in my office, or Pleasure House Point for that matter. We're going to be having breakfast at Commune, one of our favorite places, so it's so nice out we thought we'd sit outside too. And they finally put up uh, umbrellas to make it a little bit more shady because basically if you're not sandwiched up here against the wall, you're in the sunlight. Also, their tables are incredibly jiggly, so we tried to get one that's like jammed up against the wall to sort of give it a little bit of stabilization. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Yankee. You got my wife. All right, so we're gonna get food and eat, and I don't know what else is going on today, but we'll figure it out. Okay, kids, here we go, something new. I decided that this whole contraption up here is rated for like 135 pounds or somewhere around there. Basically, it's rated for more than any of the setups that I have. So I decided, you know what? If I put the 14 millimeter lens on this damn thing, it's a G Master lens on one of their newest best cameras. And this stupid thing is rated for 135 pounds. It's gotta work. Not to mention that the way that I mounted it, it's sitting up higher now. So if I don't put the grip on it, it should work. I should be able to put this damn thing in the Forerunner. And that's exactly what I did. So right now, the footage that you're watching is on the a7 IV with the 14 millimeter G Master lens mounted to this whole robotic contraption that I've got set up on the windshield. I'm able to use the USB-C cable that I had running to power the Insta360, and now it's powering and charging my a7 IV. And it's in the center of the damn dashboard, and because it's 14 millimeter, it gets the entirety of the inside of the Forerunner. Now, we're gonna go for a little ride in that shitty part of Virginia Beach that shows us if this thing can handle all the bumps and, and bangs and all that kind of stuff. Now, one thing is for certain that right now, at this point, tis 87 degrees. It's hot as balls. It's hotter than balls inside this Forerunner. And I turned the AC almost all the way off to be able to accommodate, you know, not picking up the sound of it blasting whilst I'm driving and testing this thing. Now I can see already that this thing is moving a lot. And the worst part of this whole setup is that small rig magic arm. That thing is so wobbly and doesn't stay tight that I think that that's gonna be the downfall of this whole setup. You know, as soon as I pull it out of the driveway, I can see this damn thing jiggling and, it, and, it's, and it's moving significantly. And that's because it's, there's just too much going on. Now the question is, will the active stabilization cover that? And then it'll just bother me that I can watch it jiggling? Doesn't make a difference because no matter what, I'm gonna change this out so that I do not have all that weight on the small rig magic arm. It's all gonna be on that fall cam because if I'm looking at this, I can see where, where the jiggle's coming from and it's all coming from that small rig arm, which just is not meant to handle this. But that fall cam, again, that whole setup is rated at 135 pounds with that suction cup and all that shit. So I think I can make it work. Now let's see how this thing does when it's sitting in the direct sunlight. I'll be right back. Okay, kids, I think we got it. I also forgot to take off the emergency brake. I have completely redone this now. I have eliminated this wonky ass wobbly small rig magic arm. Don't get me wrong, it has its function, it has its place, but its place was not on my freaking windshield holding this shit up because it was just too freaking wobbly, too much shit going on. So now I repositioned this entire fall cam contraption to the direct center of my windshield and I am only using the fall cam equipment. So that means the suction cup, in addition to all the, the quick releases and plates and shit, and the fall cam magic arm. The suction cup is on to the maximum amount, all on the center of the dashboard. And then I have the a7 IV with the 14 millimeter G Master lens, all slid in there. Then I have the DJI wireless mic in the hot shoe of the a7 IV, and that all sits still about an inch above where it would hit on the dashboard, far enough away that hitting glass is not an issue. 
it isn't really blocking my view any more than my phone is. Now we're going to go through and we're going to hit the shittier part of Virginia Beach here in this construction and we're going to jiggle through and we're going to see how the A7 IV with the active stabilization in this contraption all holds up. We are now in construction. I don't know how much you can see of that, uh, you know, on the outskirts, but you're going to see a lot of these orange cones and all that kind of stuff. And it, it's going to get, you know how it gets when I get up here. It, it, it's like, oof, bad. Now we're going to start hitting, there's all these concrete patches that, they, that they've put down. But I don't know how they are, because I usually don't go this way because it, it's so jarring. And I only go this way when I'm testing a camera setup. <laughs> Here's a good one. Oh, yeah, okay. I think that jiggled even before I hit it. Oh, but I'm in the wrong lane because this person that's leading the pack is driving slow as hell and people are getting pissed and whipping around. I swear to Zeus. Imagine that, somebody in the fast lane driving slow as shit. I'd have to say that I could never become a Jedi because I don't have patience. And Yoda would actually be flipping his shit if he were trying to teach me because of how impatient I am. Because I'd be like, I'm not fucking doing that. Are you kidding me? Get this out of the way. Okay. That was the worst of it. How did it look? It's not going to be able to take care of everything. Despite the fact that this thing is rated for 135 pounds, it's still going to shake. Okay, kids, what a day. Nothing is perfect. It's still a heavy setup. It still has a little bit of jiggle, but I don't think it has any more jiggle than it did when I included the small rig arm and had the Insta360 on there. Definitely couldn't have this on there with that extra arm, but once I got it all cleared up and rearranged where I put the suction cup, everything seemed to work just fine. I'm still able to connect the USB-C cable to it and charge it, so all is good there. The only thing I have to worry about is heat. Now, the only reason I have to worry about heat, obviously, is because it's on the dashboard, and I've told you before how freaking hot that shit gets when there's no shade. The sun is coming down through the glass, and it's making all that metal hot. So that means that if I want to use this camera, I have to blast the AC. Now, that isn't a problem because I blast the AC anyways, but it just means that there'll be times where it's either going to be loud because I have the AC blasting, or I'm going to have to wait for the blasting AC to cool the vehicle down enough that I can turn it down, but still get some cool air blowing around this damn thing because it gets so hot. I think that it did a good job, though, through the shitty part there that I always test this kind of stuff and it's good to go. Okay, so it has been a long, busy day. I'm like schwitzing here because I was working in the Forerunner and going in and out and it's so hot and everything. That's it, that's all I've got for you today. I wanna know what you think about this whole thing. How does this, the mic system sound on the A7 IV? How did the footage look once I got everything changed around and put back into the Forerunner? Let me know, let me have it. I wanna hear what you have to say because you guys have been helping me out a lot and, and, and sending me down in the directions where I need to go to get this shit to work right. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.